see the cows out in the fields, obviously, because that's what we've been doing here for uh, for 200 years. And first of all, in the way of that operation, because we have to keep them off the land. During the festival, the cows go into the Glastonbury Meat Hall for a short stay. Over the years, we work with one another, and it don't really cause too much hassle for the farm, not really. Just that the cows got to stay in, obviously, because of the festival for a bit longer. Their feed's put in front of them, so it's, it's like being on an all-inclusive holiday indoors. Whereas if you go outside, you've got to go and hunt for your food, like self-catering sort of job. So. <laughs> Michael's most exciting day of the year, he, he loves to turn the cows out. They behave a bit like naughty children when they go out first. They won't go where you want them to, they just run everywhere and... Yeah, but they go absolutely berserk and they're hopping and skipping and laughing and enjoying themselves. So this is the best bit of the year for me, really. I just see the cows going out to grass, and they've been in for a couple of months, and they're very, very excited about it. As the farm fell silent to music and football, socially distanced Glastonbury festivals were brought to our screens in 2020. We have calm, we have serenity, and we have a lot of cows. And again in 2021, as the cows roamed the fields freely amongst the stages. With the festival gates finally reopened to the masses, the Mutel is back in business, and the cows are safely tucked away for their summer break. The festival's been around for a long time, and uh, so we've all got used to it. So we're having a wonderful time, actually, what with the festival and the people, and the cows love it as well. So we're all on the same side, and it's a very, very happy farm.